Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mark Dixon. All right, a really pleasant day is underway across Connecticut. Sunshine currently and comfortable temperatures, but as we head toward the evening commute, that's when we'll be tracking rain moving into the state, the northwest corner first, and then progressing farther southeast points thereafter. So in the meantime, I've got several hours to go to enjoy what we currently have, and that is a, a dry scan on early warning pinpoint Doppler. Look at these temperatures up to the 70 degree mark now at Windsor Lock, 65 for Willimantic, 66 Torrington, 64 Meriden. Along the shoreline, temperatures there, 55 to 60, because of the component of the wind coming in off of the sound. So we've got that southerly wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour along the shoreline, 10 to 15 miles an hour uh, as you head farther inland. So this afternoon, away from the sound where temperatures top out in the 60s, we should reach or exceed the 70 degree mark. Uh, so again, pretty nice this afternoon. You can see our IKV from Torrington showing some scattered clouds in the northwest hills as we head into our capital city, looking toward the east, looking good there, a lot of blue sky. So check out uh, what's happening right now in stores. A great uh, amount of sun sunshine there in the uh, uh, northeastern part of the state. So uh, as we look to our northwest, this is where we find the line of rain and the showers themselves look like they're moving from west to east, but the line itself is going to slowly head to the southeast. So it's again as we head toward and then through the evening commute, uh, we'll see our chances here in Connecticut for rain on the increase. So in front of that, Front. We've got uh, the wind out of the south and then uh, behind this front will trend a little bit cooler through the middle part of the week and it's not until later this evening and tonight that that front makes its way offshore. So future cast starts you off at the noon hour tracking the rain that's currently off to our northwest as we head towards say three in the afternoon uh, likely seeing some activity a little bit uh, around Albany and been then shifting southeast from there. Here we are at uh, five o'clock. We've got some rain perhaps even some heavy downpours at times with a few flashes of lightning some rumbles of thunder. We're not expecting severe weather, but again, some thunderstorms can't be ruled out. Here's the situation at 7 p.m. basically reaching, if not passing the 84 corridor. And as that happens, any storms that do develop should weaken as they continue making their trek across Connecticut. Then by say 10 o'clock tonight, the rain is over here in Connecticut. Clearing is taking place and a nice day is on tap for our Wednesday. Uh, perhaps a little cloudiness remaining in the morning, but then giving way to a good amount of sunshine. I think through the course of the afternoon, just a few clouds uh, for our day tomorrow. So in our early warning, 7 day four Forecast. Tomorrow, instead of the 70s, we're going to be reaching the mid and upper 60s, and then even cooler weather is on top for Thursday. Thursday highs in the upper 50s. Another storm system will approach on Thursday, bringing an increase in cloud cover. Some showers late in the day, but it looks like as of now, Friday looks to be fairly soggy with periods of rain, uh, and temperatures on Friday will likely only top out in the lower 60s. That's out of here for the weekend, at least for Saturday. Saturday by the afternoon with uh, some partial clearing, I'll say sun and clouds, breezy conditions near 70. Then for Mother's Day, upper 60s, we'll see an increase in cloud cover, perhaps some late day rain that lingers into early Monday of next week. And for shoreline highs this weekend, 68 on Saturday, 62 on Sunday. So by no means is it a washout or a horrible forecast for mom, but it's not going to be wall to wall sunshine either, at least as of now. All right.